Hello, this is me Ali Reza and I'm a Google Ads advertising professional. I'm also a Google partner and just to let you know that in case if your Google merchant account account, uh, account is suspended and in case if you need a professional help, my team will my team will be able to help you professionally in restoring and reactivating your suspended Google Merchant uh, Center accounts. Uh, but just to let you know that any uh, of such effort requires patience and you need to be open with changes on your website or wherever it requires. So let's get started on how to fix a disapproved Google Merchant Center account. I have many case studies on my YouTube channel already, already regarding Google Merchant Center suspension. Uh, our audit checklist on how to get your Google Merchant account restored. Uh, we also provide paid services. So let me share you an interesting story here, a case study regarding how to fix uh, disapproved products on Google Merchant Center. So let's stay with me in this video because I will go with you step by step on this. So just imagine you see something like this. So this is for uh, one of the uh, suspended account for policy violation, but you know, uh, the reason behind the suspension was these uh, four reasons of uh, disapproval products over here that, uh, you know, every case is a different scenario and uh, sometimes we have to face a complete new details. Sometimes it's a new reason why your products are disapproved. But here in this case, you know, there were four items, you know, which is why your uh, which is which is why the Google Merchant Center account was suspended and that was invalid uh, color value the color was missing displaying previous images invalid new images third is missing potentially required value and fourth is low image quality you know we even have certain cases where low quality websites were suspended on Google Merchant Center and you know we help them in uh, working to improve the website quality so here, you know, I like to speak on how we worked on, you know, uh, figuring out those cases. So, you know, what we did was, you know, figured out the products. First of all, you can see over here that 1100 products had an issue of invalid value. Uh, 16 has a displaying previous image, missing potential required value, unit passing 10 products and low image quality was six products. So we figured out those and created a list. Let me show you that list as well. So you can see over here that this is, you know, the product with color issue and uh, we figured out those products which have colored issue and, you know, we found out like there were 50 uh, uh, products which have color issues and this one was, you know, uh, products with invalid image links and, you know, we figured out, reviewed the merchant center and, you know, like we figured like there are 16 products which is exactly causing the issue with invalid image links. Then the pricing issue, like there were 10 products which have pricing issue. Uh, we figured those, you know, corrected those and then items with low images. So, you know, there were six items which were low images. So what exactly we did was, you know, we first of all, the thing is to configure and organize the data based on the problem. So, you know, like there were <coughs> on these uh, my, uh, website, the issue was low quality images. So what we have to do, we have to, you know, recreate or edit those pages with improved images to get it sorted. And then over here, and then here, you know, the pricing issue, uh, you know, we were missing the pricing issue in the configuration of Google Merchant Center. So what we did was we added those pricing for the products listed over here in Google Merchant Center. For each product, we configured this. And we also, you know, looked on the business information. We also looked on, you know, everything on the Google Merchant Center. And then these were the invalid image links. You know, we corrected those image links. And then, you know, where the products which have color issues, you know, the no color value was being told. Uh, that is again a product listing error and you can just solve it by going to your merchant center account and opening the case account and you just have to write. let me just show you that in case if you have to edit any product like now this is the current scenario of the account you can see that the account is not more suspended and and have right now 60,000 products but you know we often fees uh, uh, often have to face a situation where we see like some products getting disapproved so in case of any product, what you have to do is you have to like even right now uh, we have few issues over here like uh, we have a limited performance due to but right now the account is not suspended and that is the you know a very important thing that your product I, uh, account should not be suspended because uh, suspension of an account can lead that your ad won't be shown. So you just have to select this. 
and open it up and here you can you know add the necessary configuration details so that is you know uh, something important that you have to uh, tell the gender you have to tell the color like the color over here being you know those item has uh, colors missing we added the over here you know some have size issues some have gender issue you know each thing is very important with the google merchant they are highly concerned regarding how serious you are regarding filling these details because these details ensure that you are serious about your business and google will also think that you are not a scam because you guys are serious about this so then you know once we add it out once you figured out those uh, then you know the corrections were made accordingly so even if you in case if you right now see you know the issue of uh, pricing is still over here with the uh, 25 items but the account is not suspended so what we have to do is we have to select the co uh, you know google has already told you the you know missing items or let's say this is you know the, the missing these pages have pricing issue simple is that you can just figure out those pages open the items over here and then just uh, find out the price through the website and then just link over here because I have a pricing issue just view on the website and then just have to correlate with it so the process is very easy and does not require much of your time uh, yeah in case if you need a help me and my team will gladly able to help you out on those, those things and you know because we did it and right now even if you open any other account for instance this account you know this account took us like a month to get it active and approved and running previously you can see that for a month it was you know not approved and the product was because you know google label different issues on it and so we were able to get it sorted on like there are no issues right now over here so any issue can occur and my team is you know my team have developers i have we have developers uh we can work closely with your developers or we can work on your behalf we can do edits on Shopify, we can do edits on WordPress to make your site compliant and up and running. So yeah, you can see that uh, item approval is very important and uh, uh, for products approval is very important. I mean to say in case of your products are not being approved, you will always be in trouble uh, regarding a Google Merchant Center account and in case if your account is new, it will definitely be suspended. But in case if your account is old, you can see such errors like you have seen. But you know, correcting those errors is necessary. Otherwise, your even older accounts can get suspended with Google Merchant Center, leading to misrepresentation or any other policy violation. So keep an eye on the uh, invalid products on your Google Merchant Center and regularly solve them so you don't have to face any issue of um, account suspension on GMC.